What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 26 of the Rise to Glory here at Gibraltar Apex and today I have for you guys a cup final double header. It's the end of season 4 here at the Apex and today we've got two big games. The first of which is going to be against St. Joseph's FC in the Gibraltarian Senior League Cup final. We then have just a week or so later a final against College Europa in the Rock Cup. So two trophies which we are yet to win. I'm hoping we can win both today. We're on a fantastic winning run. We've not actually lost since February. It's now the end of May. Let's get into this first game. It's against St. Joseph's. In terms of our team for today's game, we've actually managed to get a few of our players back who I didn't think were going to be back to almost full fitness. Ben Connolly, he's not match sharp, only 83%, but we're going to risk him regardless. Felix also back from injury. If you watched last episode, which was the semi-final of the Rock Cup against St. Joseph's, you'll know we beat them, but we did have a few injuries to key players at the time. I'm pleased to say that Felix and uh, Connolly are both back. They're not necessarily 100% match fit, but they are fit enough that today uh, we can give them a run out, we can give them a go. And that's what we're going to do here. So this is the team we've got. I'm actually going to swap out uh, Stefan Clark in replacement of Glenn Gilbert. Gilbert's a good player, but we want to rotate it. Clark is a player whose contract runs out at the end of the year. And if I'm honest, I kind of want to keep him on. So giving him a few matches here and there, you know, it might be just enough to kind of sway him into wanting to stay at the club and hopefully swing his happiness. But anyway, let's get into today's first game. Uh, we are going to go with, obviously, our standard 4-4-2. Nothing too crazy going on here. Felix in goal, the keeper back from injury, obviously. I think it's a sports hernia that he's been out with. A uh, left back, I've already talked about Clark. Centre-backs, we go with club captain Aaron Guerrero. Been at the club since the beginning. Alongside him, we go with Adam Roberts. Very talented centre-back. Perhaps we have a little bit of a weakness when it comes to our aerial abilities in our centre-backs, but we don't see it exploited too often. At right-back, we go with Peter Morgan, who this year has really emerged as our first-choice right-back ahead of Reyes. In the midfield, we go with Griffo out on the left wing. He's had a fantastic season. I'm hoping he can score a few for us. He definitely deserves them for his contribution this year. We have Anthony Hernandez, uh, who is, of course, our kind of former right-winger come centre-mid. Very talented player, very good at playing this kind of central midfielder role for us. He's a very talented player, kind of in whatever role we want to play in him, him in. I think for this game, we are going to play him as the advanced playmaker over Sargent. It's just the kind of way I like to... I think I like these players this way around. To be honest, I've been kind of experimenting with both players either way around. I, I'm never really sure which way to organise these guys, because obviously one of our roles is the centre mid defend, which if we look at, you'd have to say Sargent is probably the better player at just, but then... When you come to the advanced playmaker role, which is obviously in the midfield, the thing that really lets down Hernandez is just his creativity. His five passing isn't great. His vision isn't great. Um, but he seems to just create a lot of chances regardless. But anyway, I think this is the team we're going to go with for today's game. Obviously, at right mid, we've got Robson, and then up front, we have Peachman and Connolly. Peachman had a, a great year this year, 14 goals in 23. Slowed down a little bit towards the end of the season in terms of his goal-scoring tally, but Ben Connolly... 29 goals in the 25 league games he played this year, 36 in all competitions. If he could get to 40 for the year in these last two games, that would be a pretty decent achievement for him. So anyway, let's submit our team for today's game, hoping for a good result against St. Joseph's. We beat them last time out in the last live com. The commentary before that, we beat them. And I think the commentary before that, we lost to them. They really, this year, have just been the team who have seemed to have stood in our way constantly. The team who... I guess they're going to finish second, I do believe, in the Premier Division or have finished second now because the season is over in terms of the league games. Um, but they've kind of been this team who's, I don't want to say they've been our threat this year, but they've certainly been the team closest to keeping up with us at the top of the table. And, well, not for the first time this year, we come up against them in a final. Of course, the Pepe Reyes Cup, we won 5-1. I would love another performance like that. We might be on the attack here. Connolly, Peachman is in the middle. He's in acres of space. Ball picked out. Peachman saved by Perez and McCarthy. We'll get it away for a corner. That was a great, great opportunity early on there. Ball whipped in, cleared away though, and it does look like St. Joseph's are going to deal with this, unfortunately, for us. And that was a good early chance. Peachman not able to take it. In an ideal world, I probably would have liked our strikers the other way around there. Peachman whipping in the ball, Connolly to finish it. I really rate Connolly in that kind of position. He just seems to finish for fun. However, um, we can't be choosers, can we, of our situation here? And they've actually got a chance, a set piece, 
St. Joseph's yet to hit the target, but they are bringing the ball forward here. Cleared away. Robson here. Can we counter now? Connolly, he's got pace. He's got space. Can he squeeze in the shot? He cuts inside. He shoots. Perez with a fantastic save. That would have been an incredible goal there. We might still have a chance from the set piece. Headed away from the corner. That's probably going to be all she wrote. 35 minutes in. St. Joseph's edging possession, but we've done a lot more with it. And a lot of our chances, as we've seen so far, have come from us on the break. Although... We might have to break again here, and we will do. St. Joseph's committing men up the field, and now we look to counter. Connolly finding space. Can he finish from a tight angle? He might have to pull it back. He shoots. Reyes with a save, and I didn't really back him to score from that angle, Connolly. It was looking ever so tight, and the further wide he ran, the less and less uh, kind of hope, I guess, I had of him actually burying the shot there, and... 39 minutes in, there's going to be another chance, but it's been all us in terms of the chances we've seen. Hernandez this time through. Can he finish it? He can't. He hits the side netting. A really good opportunity. That was a clear-cut chance. Again, probably would want Connolly in that position to try and shoot, but he isn't. And now St. Joe's is going to hit the crossbar. This has been a pretty mad final so far. There's not been, obviously, any goals yet, but there has been a ton of chances for both teams, and Morgan going to have to deal with it there. St. Joe's is still with possession. I'm hoping this is just going to end. Guerrero, no-nonsense stuff, puts it into Rosette, and that's probably going to be all she wrote for the first half. And after that first half, I am far from pleased with what I've just seen. I want to shout and scream at the players at halftime. I want them to book their ideas up. I want them to really, I guess, turn up for the second half. Can we get something from the pointless highlight? Ball whipped in. No one there, unfortunately. Ambitious ball by Peter Morgan, the right back, but... No one in the box to just latch onto that cross, and unfortunately it goes away for a goal kick. So anyway, we have got some options here. This is uh, the Senior Cup final, not the Rock Cup final, it's worth noting. So this is perhaps the least, uh, the lesser important of the two finals, although really I want to win both. We might have a chance here. Set piece. Perez, the keeper, collects, however, and now St. Joseph's might look to break, although looking at it, they are not committing many men up the field. It looks like they've just got the one striker stuck up there, and actually we have the ball here. Griffo... Goes for a big ball. Lapsley intercepts Connolly. Out wide to Robson. Whips it in. Griffo's there. And Griffo scores. Take a bow, my son. Neil with the goal. Robson with the assist. What a cross that was. The deadlock is broken in the 67th minute here. And it's been coming. Looking at the stats. St. Joseph's yet to hit the target. They did hit the woodwork. Worth remembering that. But Robson there with a cross. Back post. Griffo doesn't even need to jump for that header. It's on a plate for him. He just has to run in. Make contact. He does. And he directs his header into the top corner. And wow, good start here. Hopefully we can build upon that. At one goal, it's never going to be comfortable. We need to defend here. Guerrero with the ball back to Felix. And maybe now we can look to attack Felix with the big ball up to Connolly. Griffo going to latch onto it. Options in the middle if Griffo picks them out. Peachman is there. That is a quick double for us. Two goals in the space of really one highlight. Cannot complain one little bit about that. 68th minute. We score again. We scored in, what, the 67th minute and 47th second. And our goal previously came in the 66th minute and the 39th second. So, what's that? 70 seconds between the goal? Maybe a little bit less. That is a fantastic turnaround. We might have another chance here. Peachman looking in the box. Morgan there whips it in. Griffo with a chance. And that was almost a third goal in three minutes. Unfortunately, though, Perez, the keeper, did hold on to it that time. But at 2-0 here... We are looking very, very good for our league, consider, uh, for our lead. Considering this is the second best team in Gibraltar, at least in my opinion, this has been a, a pretty inspirational performance here. And Griffo bringing the ball forward. Connolly, Peachman, can't find Robson on the overlap, although we might have another chance here. Stephen Clark, back post. Robson hits the crossbar. And it could have been 3-0, and that would have been game over at that point. But time ticking away here. A few players struggling a little bit for fitness. We'll make some changes just to get some fresh legs on. Um, but all in all, a pretty darn impressive first kind of final performance, I guess it's fair to say here. It looks like it is just going to finish 2-0. Uh, a great performance, though. Keeping the clean sheet is nice, but to lift silverware, I mean, it's good. And hopefully we can build upon this result, use this momentum into the Rock Cup final we're going to have coming up. And um, hopefully do something in that competition as well. Full time here, 2-0. Uh, goals for Griffo and Peachman, the difference. Connolly not getting one of those four goals that we said he needed for 40, unfortunately for him. But a very convincing performance there. St. Joseph's were pretty poor, if we we're being honest. They did not have a shot on target in that final, which is a pretty incredible achievement. And we do celebrate a famous treble. I can't believe the year is already 2019. That is a little bit scary. 
Anyway, we get a little bit of prize money for winning that competition. We keep the traditions going of winning competitions. It's our first ever Senior League Cup win. Griffo was on form. The squad get a little bit of money. You can see the summary there. Um, we are the champions, of course, and now we can move on. And I think I just saw Robson got top goal scorer as well in that competition. But anyway, I'm not going to cut out the bit between this and the next game. It's going to be against our bogey team, College Europa, the Rock Cup final, the kind of um, competition that we're in here. A competition that, if I'm honest, I really want to win. It's the equivalent of kind of the English FA Cup. It's the of the domestic competitions in Gibraltar, at least in game, it's the one that everyone wants to win. And actually, the winner of it does get a um, Europa League spot. And for College Europa... That's going to be pretty big for them. If they lose this, it will go to Manchester 63 FC or 62. I don't know why I want to say 63, but it will go to the Manchester club if we win. We have now gone 18 games unbeaten, which is absolutely incredible too. We've been in fine, fine form, and I'm hoping we can cap off this season with a win against College Europa. It's worth noting that... Um, this game against College Europa is not the first time we are going to have played them kind of within the last month. We played them in the last game of the season and we did win 4-1 there, which was pretty pleasing, especially as I mentioned, because they were kind of one of our big rivals this year. Looking at it, Gibraltar United relegated Angels promoted. They won the playoff final in the relegation promotion playoff 2-0. And if we just have a look at it here, uh, yeah, you can see it finished 2-0. And uh, if we look at the Premier Division, this is how it finished, just so you guys can see. We looked at it a second ago, but College Europa fell off the pace. Glasses had a pretty poor end to the season, only narrowly really avoided Gibraltar United. And um, links there could have easily gone down as well. It was a really tight end to the season. Europa point, definitely the weakest team this year. In terms of the Segunda Division, if we just have a quick look at it, uh, Lincoln Redimps didn't get promoted. Europa Pegasus are College Europa's um, kind of B team there feeder team and as a result they can't be promoted but that was pretty interesting to see there so anyway let's keep going on we've got a few more days left to continue to this college europa game uh, did we get any awards here Connolly wins player of the year in the first division that is really amazing to see he of course got 29 in 25 don't think that can be disputed too much griffo actually came second for the award and jack peachman coming third that's 7.81 average rating actually the highest average rating of all the players in that list Connolly also got top goal scorer with 29 peachman in third on 14 so all in all a pretty good goal scoring season in terms of the goal of the season, we didn't have one, unfortunately. But we did get the Manager of the Year award again. We have a win ratio of 81%. That is not, that's not too shabby. I guess with the dominance we are having in Gibraltar, that's perhaps to be expected. But if we just look at our information here, I've not shown this off in a little while. You can pause it if you want to look at something specifically. But zero days on holiday, total game time, 1,429 days. We've already played 131 matches in this save. And all in all... It's gone pretty well this year. I think that 81% win percentage is this year in the division. In terms of the team of the year, wow, we are dominating it here. Seven of our players in it. Felix in it, Guerrero, Morgan, Hernandez, Griffo, Peachman and Connolly. Really a testament to how good the team has been this year. To have two players in every outfield position in the team of the year, that is not too bad or a going. And kind of nice to see Morgan in here. Obviously joined us this year on a free was at Glasses the year before and had a fairly good time there. This year he's really kind of come into a league of his own in our club. Eight assists for him at right back. Been a little bit of a surprise package if I'm honest. I kind of brought him in to be second choice behind Reyes and he's really just kind of uh, shone and shone and as a result I guess deservedly so. He's in the team of the year which is a nice achievement for him. We have three days until this College Europa game. It's taking a while. Come on game. Continue. I've not got a ton of leagues loaded in this database. But it is the end of seasons. So there's probably a lot of stuff being processed through. Uh, we have got some contracts running out at the end of the year. I really want to keep Stefan Clark on, but I don't think he's going to want to stay on. There's a few other names here who you might recognise as going. Ramage joined us this year. He's really not shone. We paid £180 for him. He played five games. He's been very poor. Um, I think we're going to let him go because he's 31, because he's on £200 a week. Uh, just not having him on the wages at all is going to save us around £10,000 a year. And that's quite a significant amount, really. And it's a similar story for Kadrian Drimmy, a player who, you know what, for the last few years he's been a great player for us. But this year he really had a, a quieter season. The, last year he had a fantastic year. I can't even deny that. 
But um, I think it's time to let him go. He's getting a little bit greedy when it comes to his wage demands, and I can't really afford to pay a player like him £200 a week. Danny B also a notable exit, I guess. A player who won uh, Fans Player of the Year in the very first year in the Segunda division with us. This year he's really been off the pace. Last year he wasn't great either. You can see by the average ratings, pretty disappointing. We've got better centre mids now and I think it's time for him to go and kind of move on. Anyway, let's continue continuing. Two more games left until we take on College Europa. I kind of started branding them this year as our bogey team. And since I've done that, we've repeatedly beaten them. So I'm kind of hoping we can keep that trend going here. We are going to be at home for this game, although home is a very odd term to use in Gibraltar because, of course, everyone shares the same stadium. Uh, but we are ready for the Rock Cup spectacle. 2,000 tickets expected to be sold. We are the favourites for this game. We are at 6-1 to one favourites. Those are pretty good odds in our favour. I'm hoping we can put in a good performance here and... You know what, give the fans something to cheer about to end the season. If we just look at the kind of board confidence, you can see here, board kind of very secure. They're very happy with how we're getting on here. Club finance is a massive bonus. Club harmony and squad harmony they're happy with. The club stature they're happy with. Matches they're happy with. If we could wrap up this season with the Rock Cup, that would be pretty darn pleasing. They want us to win it. That is the minimum expectation. Hopefully we can do that again today against College Europa who uh, actually a few years ago, I say a few years ago, in our very first season when we were in the Segunda division, you guys may remember that we actually took on College Europa and I believe we lost 3-1 and that was in the Rock Cup and I believe that was in the quarterfinal. So we have a little bit of history against them in this competition. Uh, for In terms of the team for today's game, players have recovered very, very well from the previous match, so we're going to stick with largely the same team. The only change I have made is I've just brought in Glenn Gilbert to play left-back ahead of Stefan Clark. Um, but other than that, pretty happy with the team. Looking at the form, our players are playing very, very well. No one averaging except the goalkeeper below kind of a 7.28 average rating, or 2-4, I guess, here with Guerrero. But particularly going forward... Those are some pretty terrifying ratings, and we definitely have some strikers in form. Oh, with this competition, we are limited in terms of the subs we can have. We can only have uh, so many. We're going to go with that as our five-man bench. We've got all the positions really covered there. We'll see how we get on. Big game for us here, though. I'm hoping for a win. Good game for Felix is going to be required, I think. College Europa, they, they create a lot of chances. They do. They are a team that they always seem to score against us. Even when we beat them at the end of the year, it was 4-1. It wasn't 4-0. And I don't know, there's been weird games this year where we've just not scored. Of course, we come into this game on fantastic form. I believe winning this would be either 18 or 19 games unbeaten. It might, might even be one in a row, actually, now I think about it. But either way, we need a good start here, and we are having a good start. We're on the attack. Peachman, options to his right. Hernandez... Fred through Robson, who gets there. Can he whip in a ball of quality? He can. Connolly's there. But Fraze Garcia with a save. And that was a clear-cut chance that came our way in the first five minutes. Been very 50-50. Both teams with just one shot to their names. Possession as well, 50-50. And um, we, we need to step things up. We need to improve here. And I'm hoping to see some of that now. Although College Europa coming forward with the ball. We are going to need to defend well. And that is a fantastic interception by Robson. Tries to thread through Peachman with a big ball over the top. He's not a particularly fast striker. And he isn't going to get on the end of it. But we can try and rebuild here. Hernandez to Peachman. There's options on ahead of him. Griffo there over on the overlap. Glenn Gilbert's there. Glenn Gilbert picked out. Can he whip in a ball? He can. Robson is there. Makes it 1-0. Lee Robson with his 12th goal of the season. Glenn Gilbert with a superb assist there. He's on a yellow card, Glenn, but he knows how to whip in a cross, and he's done exactly that there. A great pass by Tristan Sargent. Fantastic through ball out wide. Ball whipped in, and while Robson is just there, swings his weaker left peg at it, manages, manages to get enough of a contact for it to find the back of the net. And it's 1-0 here in this final, and we are we're going strong. We're going well. This is this is how I imagined it. We're, we're going to win both cup finals, maybe. Maybe I've said that prematurely. I hope not. But we're doing well. And we're on the attack again here. Griffo going to be intercepted, unfortunately. Roberts, Ruiz, Gilbert. Come on, Glenn. Tries to pick out Griffo. Unfortunately, cannot do that. Although Guerrero might have an opportunity. Connolly is like a little dog. He's like a little terrier looking for that gap behind the defenders to charge into. And it's like a game of fetch, except instead of bringing back the ball, you want him to take it as far away from your own goal as you can and find the back of the net. Peachman with a chance. 
He did so well until the finish, as the commentator said, put it wide, unfortunately, in the end. Might have another chance here, though. Griffo out wide to Glenn Gilbert, flicks it on Connolly. Options in the middle, Robson, one goal to his name already, to Morgan, the right back. Will pa pass it inside to Peachman. Hernandez hits it over. That was another good chance going our way. That was a clear-cut chance. Looking at the stats, College Europa having a little bit more possession, but they're not doing anything with it, and we might be able to do something here. Connolly through, Peachman with a second chance, and Fraze Garcia, not for the first time this game, denying our strikers a really good opportunity. And, well, I mentioned at the start of the game, Felix might need to play well. well I'll tell you what, Fraze Garcia is having an absolute blinder for them at the moment. But we'll see what we can do here. Coming up to half time, a goal here would be nice, you know, to extend the lead to two. He might have a chance. Connolly through, options in the middle. Healy commits the foul. It's going to be a penalty. We have a chance here from the spot. Lee Griffo. We'll call it, I want to believe that's our Griffo's brother. Um, or Monte Griffo, I guess is the technical name. But all Monte Griffos are Griffos to me. Roberts puts it down the middle, the number four. Take a bow, my son. Second goal of the season for him. It's 2-0. We've not had many penalties this year, if I'm honest. But that is a nice one to get right before half-time. We've got plenty of banners out in force today. Look at them. Although they're grey. I'm not a fan of the grey banners. I guess it's because we're away from home. Although we're not away from home. So why are we playing in our away kit? Answers on a postcard. Either way, I'm going to tell the players I'm not happy with the performance. I know it's only two, it's 2-0 clear. But I have high expectations from my players and demanding more from them. Hopefully we can get that from them. They're a pretty determined bunch just weighing up if I want to do any subs. I don't think I do yet. I don't think I do yet. Although they might have a chance here. Cambrera is going to squeeze one in for College Europa. I said that we concede against these guys a lot. We've conceded again. It's 2-1 here and it was uh, Bossicio, I guess is his name, passing it through to Cambrera who uh, puts in a, a nice shot to be fair. A keeper perhaps shouldn't be beaten at the near post. But that is kind of a wake-up call. We need to keep playing well in this game. We've got a chance here, maybe. Robson, one of our goal scorers, looks inside to Hernandez. Options on ahead, Peachman. Connolly is looking for the space. Connolly is there. Connolly will finish it. Gets his 37th goal of the season. I can't see him getting three more goals this half to get that 40 for the year. But that is a vital goal right there. It gets our two-goal lead back on the scorecard. We were pegged back, but only for a few minutes. And that is... A good little goal, and hopefully we can build upon that now. We want to stomp College Europa if we can. We want to get them back for when they beat us, of course, a few years ago when we were in the Singuda division. We might have a chance here, although their keeper's making a sequence of absolutely crazy saves, and in the end, we somehow do not get it in. I think the woodwork was hit there, and it was another good save, but with three goals to our name, we're looking very dangerous and looking very capable of scoring more. Robson, Morgan inside to Hernandez. Peachman's there! Makes it 4-1. Take a bow, my son. 22 goals. A fantastic goal there. Hernandez threads him through. And it's a great goal. Robson, he's been a, a real breakthrough talent this year into our team. And he was involved in the build-up play again there. Hernandez with the assist. The kind of player who, as I mentioned, he only has five passing. But I still like to play him as that advanced playmaker. And that is exactly why. We might have a chance here. Pons. Going to clear it up to Cambrera. You'd think at 4-1 this game is over, but if they score now, it would get a little bit squeaky bum time, although Robson going to get the ball. Can he be involved in the play again? There is options on ahead. Can he whip in a ball of quality? He can. Connolly was offside there, but he did miss the target anyway. Ten minutes left of this game. I'm going to make a few changes. We don't need to change anything too crazy here, but we'll get on some fresh legs, get on some kind of, uh, you know, talent, I guess, onto the pitch. We'll bring on Leo Leon O'Connor. Unfortunately, he can only play the advanced and attacking midfielder roles. He can't actually play left or right mid. So he doesn't really suit our 4 4 I am training him to play left mid. Going to give him a mini run out here in that position. He did get an important assist in the semi-final of this comp competition off the bench last episode. And we might have a chance here. Robson, options in the middle. O'Connor is there. He makes an impact. He can't play left mid. That's his first ever goal for the club. He makes it 5-1. Robson with another assist to his name. Two products of our youth academy. Linking up really nicely there. The ball whipped in. Back post, O'Connor. Bangs it in. Take a bow, my son. Makes it 5-1. If it wasn't game over with five minutes left at 4-1, it certainly is now at 5-1. And that is probably going to be all she wrote for this game. And uh, all I'm going to say is, oh, wow, we hit the woodwork again. It was almost 6 the ref is going to mercifully 
mercifully uh, blow the full-time whistle there. College Roper spared another corner. Fantastic second half performance. We end up winning that game 5-1. Ben Connolly, the top goal scorer in the competition. Five different goal scorers for us. That's always nice to see. A historic uh, Rock Cup final win. We celebrate a famous quadruple. We continue the kind of tradition of the club. The fans are purring. They're loving it. They're literally meowing from the stands. And all in all, that's a pretty darn good performance there. What a season this has been. We win the league. We win the Rock Cup. We win the... Um, Senior League Cup as well It's been a, a fantastic run really since the new year We've only lost, what's this, one game? Yeah, one, we've lost one game in 2019 so far And we're now in June It's unfortunate that we've not gone unbeaten this year That is something to strive towards That is something that I certainly think we're capable of doing Of course I do want to remind you guys at this point That this really is only the start of the challenge The biggest challenge of all with this save Is going to be trying to get the club to go professional Trying to kind of plod on through some of these years Where it's going to be a little bit easier But the ultimate goal really is to get this Gibraltarian league on the map Get ourselves professional Get some players into the club And kind of start to grow from there but anyway, guys, that's going to be all for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, please do smash the like button. If you've got any comments with regards to this series, leave them down below. I'll be back next time with the start of Season 5. Again, Champions League qualifiers will be the way we open up the season. Hopefully, I'll see you guys for them. Other than that, it is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.